Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. You're listening to the Squash Buckley Diaries, the diary of Joy Shelley, the lost, forgotten girl who lives in dream and is raised by her father, Justin Shelley, uh, who is there only when he sleeps and who knows what happens when he's awake. Uh, does he remember his dreams? Does he not remember his dreams? Does he know he has a daughter? Why is she there? That Those are big questions and we'll answer them over time. But for now, this is the diary of Joy Shelley. Uh, season one is... Uh, uh, ages uh, two to six, then uh, season two will be six to nine, season three, nine to twelve, you get the point. She'll be older and older. This is l- birth to death for Joy Shelley. So let's get started. This episode is Man Overboard. And uh, well, you know, there are play games, there are games you play with uh, your parents when you're a kid, or games your kids play with you when you're a parent. But when you're in the dream, there are things you can do to the dreamer that you can't do to a real person. So uh, let's examine what it's like to grow up in the dream. Let's go. Squash Buckler Diary, episode 16. Joy's age 5, told by the Red Dragon. Dragoness. Sometimes, Dragon Little, the name I give the amazing Joy Shelley, and Dragon Father, the name I give Justin Shelley, because he is Dragon Little's father like to play hide and seek. But sometimes Dragon Little plays without Dragon Father's knowledge. On this particular day, she sensed that enough time had passed and Dragon Father could appear at any time. Dragon Father always appeared on the same spot, on the deck, always facing the same direction, her cabin. She put a lasso-type rope exactly where he would appear. She made it wide so that both his legs would be inside it once he did. She climbed the mast with the end of that rope around her arm. She tied it carefully to the very tip of the mast and climbed down. She hid behind the mast and made herself as small as possible. She waited nearly an hour before Dragon Father appeared on the deck. He appeared exactly in the middle of the lasso. He took one step forward, as he always does, in her cabin's direction, his foot caught in the lasso, Another step, and the lasso held both his feet tight. Dragon Little leapt in the other direction, screaming, Yeah! Dragon Father turned around, surprised. Dragon Little was at the helm, took the wheel, and pushed it back. Bunny's revenge was now flying at high speeds, almost vertically up. Dragon Little was holding the wheel, but Dragon Father was holding nothing. He flew back and out of the ship, still shocked at everything that's happening. The rope tightened, causing Dragon Father to gasp, and then fly left to right, right as Dragon Little made the ship sway in all directions. Joy, are you crazy? Stop the ship! Get me out of... But then the rope at the end of the mast slipped upwards and was now no longer around the mast, but in the air. Here! Dragon Father yelled as he flew back and towards the ocean. Dragon Little turned around to look. She saw the rope was no longer there. Dad! Ah! His scream was getting more and more distant. Dragon Little stopped Bunny's revenge and leveled it so that it hung in the air. She ran to peer over the edge of the deck, but Dragon Father could not be seen. Two seconds later, Dragon Father reappeared at the exact same spot on the deck. This happens often. After a big danger the Dragon Father cannot cope with, he disappears, then reappears almost immediately or a few minutes later on the deck. He had woken up from the fall, then immediately returned to the dream. I know this, for I've seen others' dreams, and was not born in Dragon Father's dream. But neither of them knew the reason. It was simply the way things were. Dad! She ran to hug him. He hugged her back. Joy, are you crazy? Mm, She buried herself in his hug. Joy, he whispered. When you're a kid, that's fine, but when you get older, you have to stop. 
Someone will get hurt. You will get hurt. Joy didn't seem to heed. She would do these things again and again. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy, Justin, Prank. So, Guy here again. This is a recurring theme in uh, Joy's life. She doesn't really listen to uh, what people say. And uh, she does dangerous stuff. And uh, as I write this, I actually wrote, I think it's number 145 or 146, where she does something completely dangerous and uh, super crazy, uh, although she didn't mean to in this case. And she lives a very different life. And we are finding out what that life is like and what it's like to grow up like that. She will eventually become a hero, but it's a long path there. And perhaps the risks she likes taking are part of it. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hasson. If you want to know more about the Squash Buckler Diaries, check out the website, guyhasson.com, which is G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. The theme music is called Brash Gentleman and is by Thomas Herodek. I will talk to you again tomorrow in the dream. <coughs> ah okay, sorry about that. But then the rope at the end of the mast is quiet. Airplane. The plane, the plane. <laughs>